All right, team. So as always, before we get started, I want to first start off by giving a shout out to all of my viewers. You guys keep me motivated to keep delivering this type of content through subscribing to the channel, through liking the videos, and also through sharing the videos with those who you find that this content might be helpful for. I want to say thank you to everybody who continues to support me and the platform. Lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors over at realstonecare.com. Their line of towel and grout cleaner products, as well as their natural stone restoration products, are unmatched. We're not only promoters of the products, but we use them as well. Make sure you check them out at realstonecare.com. And whenever you do, if you do decide to check out, use promo code MMTV10 at the very end to get a discount on your order. Again, that is promo code MMTV10. You'll find that promo code down in the description as well as their website. Check them out. Let them know I sent you. Alrighty, what's going on guys? It's your man Mark here with Skillfully Self-Employed out here in the beautiful Haslett, Texas. And I got an interesting job that I'm working on today. So we got about 400 square feet, but we are doing a wax removal on some tile and grout. So check this out. All right team, so coming into the kitchen, the first thing you will immediately notice is the brownish tint versus this area right here which is clearly an area where someone has tried to clean up the wax. And they learn real quick that this stuff does not come up easy. This particular client called me and told me that she's been mopping her floors for a little over a year with Mop and Glow. And one thing I'll tell you about Mop and Glow, for those who are entering into this industry, Mop and Glow, Rejuvenate, Quick Shine, all of that stuff is a topical coating, i.e. wax. It's designed to make the floor shiny, but ultimately what ends up happening is over time it'll turn brown, it'll start to peel and flake, and let me tell you something, it is a mess to clean up. This client didn't care what it was going to cost to get it off her floor, she just wanted it gone. These jobs right here, although they're messy, you can make a lot of money on these. So getting started, the very first thing we're gonna have to do is apply the floor stripper. The floor stripper that I'm using, which you can actually get from Real Stone, I have it mixed at 16 ounces per gallon, which is pretty doggone strong, but there is multiple layers of wax on this floor. And the way this product works is it's gonna dissolve that wax and make it really easy to clean up from the tile and the grout lines. Now this is how I personally test to see if the floor is ready to be stripped. I just take my foot and start rubbing the tile. And if that wax is starting to come up just by rubbing it, we're ready to start stripping it. Now with the actual stripping process, you will need a 175 buffer and a black stripping pad. Um, with this process, we're gonna cover this entire floor and you just run it across and what you're doing is just scrubbing up all of the wax, breaking it loose, so that when you get to the cleaning process, it's gonna come right off of this floor. This process, it doesn't take a lot of time. I will tell you this, if you've never worked with a 175 buffer, get you some training before going to it, because this thing will spin you around if you don't know how to run them. All right, let's change up angles. So you can see right here, see how it's breaking up all of that wax? I mean, there are so many layers of mop and glow on this floor, it's ridiculous. Now you may be wondering why am I not taking the buffer all the way to the wall? Simple reason, I don't wanna hit the wall, bang them up. What I do is I have a square black pad that goes onto my pad holder, the same holder that I use to spread my alkaline solution, and I use that to go along the perimeter of the room to remove the wax that way. And now begins the cleaning process. And the same way you clean any other tile and grout floor, it's the same way you'll do this. I'm running 1200 PSI and I'm just making sure to thoroughly clean and extract all of this waxy buildup from the floor.
Just a quick reminder team, if you are enjoying this content, be sure to click that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And that's it team, we're done. Check it out. Now I know you remember all of that brown waxy buildup. Every bit of it is completely gone. These floors are stripped all the way back down to their bare state. No more waxy buildup. And this, my friend, is what's going to leave us with a happy, satisfied client, which is ultimately what we want, right? Bathroom did good. Again, I don't come across these a lot, but it's always nice when I do because I love to document these type of jobs. It's jobs like this that when your client base or your customer base or just people in your service market in general know that you're able to take care of, you can be the go-to person for that service. Well, that's it, guys. Last step is to put down the sealer, and we'll be up out of here. Hey, I appreciate you tuning in. Peace.